Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this uh, very special Defender because it's a 110 TD5 uh, Spectre evocation from the uh, James Bond film with the same name. Um, two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of starting and idling action at the beginning of the driving video. Hope you like them. Okay, quick video of start up and idling on this uh, 110 TD5 Spectre. Settles down to a nice idle, and then we'll check under the bonnet. TD5 there doing just what it should. No funny noises or funny smells. performing the way it's supposed to. Next up, driving. Okay, so take this uh, 2007 Defender 110 TD5 double cab Spectre evocation for a spin. Apologies, I can't turn around properly. I've got a very bad back at the minute. Um, showing 73,000 miles. Uh, one of the very last TD5s registered this one, as I say, converted to full Spectre um, specification. So, all the warning lights come up as they should. Actually, oil pressure light doesn't, although maybe may because we've just switched it off. Um, but ignition light comes up as it should. Starts on the button whether it's hot or cold. No signs of any misfiring, hesitancy or overheating from the motor. And off we go. Now being a Spectre, it's on 35 inch tyres, which are very, they've got very aggressive treads on them. And the tyre noise is, well, as you'd expect, is, there's a lot of tyre noise when you're moving. That's part of the uh, part of the Spectre uh, get up. So there we go. Very very rattle free. If you can hear any rattling, it's coming from the camera mount itself rather than the vehicle. Box and clutch are nice. And if you can hear a low rumble, that is the tyres. Even though it's got the, uh, the big 35 inches on it, it does go where it's placed, not having to fight it down the road. Backlash or anything through the transmission. 
even the indicator self counts which is unusual on one with uh, a smaller steering wheel anyway hope you like that well, i certainly did